Okay, so it's Wednesday, October 28th, 9.20 p.m. All right. So the reason I did that is because this vlog will be released at a later date, depending on something that was supposed to come out to the public, but not yet. I expected it to have been released today since I saw it yesterday, but not yet until that actually gets released uh, this vlog will not be released since it might contain spoilers for that certain movie okay so what am i talking about oh but before that introductions first good evening i say good morning to the Saturday world it's me the lock lock robster <laughs> the lock robster evan love la bring you my latest vlog yes are you ready for another story much like the my experience during the VHS E experience. This is a new one, so I'm pretty sure you've heard about it. Okay, so uh, a new event, going to be my second ML48 event that I'll be attending. So, <clears throat> this is what they did. Okay, uh, watch ML48 presents Pranks Not Dead with the whole cast and get a chance to have a one-on-one -on -one with your Oshi at exclusive digital premiere on October 27, which was yesterday. Uh, tickets available at ktx.ph. Yes, so that's the post released by ML48 along with this. Okay, yeah, see that? Okay, so let me read it for you. Exclusive digital premiere October 27, 2020, general admission, 299 pesos, advanced screening, and Zoom party with the cast. VIP. 599 pesos, advanced screening and Zoom party with a cast, and a two-minute video meet with chosen cast member. Okay, so yeah, so that kind of piqued my interest. Okay, so uh, I decided to go with what I could afford, which is the VIP. Okay, so yeah, so it's kind of getting me excited because uh, uh, ever since the VHSE, I seem to like to, you know, see the girls again in some form. Well, virtually, of course, since it's the time of COVID. Okay, so uh, let me ask you the question. Since uh, the cast, I'm pretty sure you guys know who the cast of Pranks Not Dead are. Okay, so it's uh, Jan, Deanne, Colleen, Alice, and Andy. Okay. For that two-minute uh, meet with one of the cast members, who do you think I'm going to be meeting with? Okay, so um, I might know what you're thinking. Since Colleen gave me, how do you call this, the best, the best reaction I had during the VHSE, you'd think I'd choose her because she called me cute. Yeah, well, Deanne also called me cute, so both of them are here. Okay, uh, I have to say that. Mm, I have to decline on both Deanne and Colleen. Regarding Colleen, I guess I don't want to catch a fever again from her. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm actually choosing Jen to meet up with. Yeah. it's In a way, it's kind of like to make up for my lackluster uh, meet with her during the VHSE, which I kind of regretted. I wish I could have done better. So, hopefully, this would make up for it, you know, when I would meet up with her. Uh, at this event okay so with that okay so let me go through the day uh, of the premiere okay so I already bought the ticket all that I think I had to confirm it with uh, an email from HHE I think they had to fill the form on like my my name my Facebook URL the name I use on Facebook and the name they're gonna be using uh, on zoom and they put a couple of questions, but also including which member I want to see since I'm, I paid for the VIP. So uh, one question is for the cast, for the whole cast itself, and another question for Jan. Okay, and so I was kind of wondering what I only get to ask one question. But I guess it's kind of like, you know, um, <clears throat> it's almost like that's going to be the topic of the whole conversation with the member and with the cast. And... Uh, I think for the cast, the question I think they're going to choose randomly. I just chose uh, this question for the whole cast is, 
which ML48 member they think is perfect for the role that they got. Can okay, kind of example uh, like Colleen got the racial part, who's the leader of the cuties, yeah. Uh, I want to see who she thinks would fit that part perfectly, kind of like that uh, sort of question. And with Jan, I'll let you know <laughs> what the question is later on in this vlog. Okay, so now that I got that all set up, you know, getting the ticket and all that and uh, filling out the form, make sure that. Okay, so uh, I decided to do a little bit, little bit of preparation on uh, how I would uh, present myself to the girls or, you know, something like that, uh, you know. It's not gonna be in this in this room definitely. So I decided to uh, do it downstairs. Where usually, if you notice my vlogs with the uh, the cabinet, that's in the dining room area. So I decided to do it over there because the bright light, more more light over there. And I decided to do something something different. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna be <laughs> wearing just an ordinary T-shirt or clothes like that. So I decided since it's close to Halloween. And since there aren't going to be any Halloween parties that I'm going to be attending, I decided to wear a costume. So yeah, so I have a collection of costumes from the past. I was thinking, what should I wear? Spider-Man, Superman, uh, Iron Man. But I chose, actually, the very first costume I wore uh, on Halloween uh, here in the United States. Yeah. Okay, so I bought actually bought this costume 20 years ago. Yeah, 20 years ago. And I was a big fan of uh how do I call this the series yeah so i said okay so let me just move back the camera a little bit so i could show you quite well what, what, what it is okay so uh, i actually wore this this costume only three times yeah so on the event of october 27 it's going to be the fourth time i wore it i'm going to be wearing it <laughs> yeah so this actually been hanging in my closet for a while and I was kind of surprised that, you know, it seems to be ready. Yeah, but so let me show you what the costume is. Okay. okay see, see, well, there you go. There you go. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a Star Trek The Next Generation costume. Command Red and Ranked Captain. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that I actually left the pips in, as well as the communicator. Where's the communicator? still pinned onto it <laughs> okay so and uh i decided this is going to be wearing for the zoom party yeah since you know i guess in a way it's a uh, advanced uh, happy halloween since i'm not going to be going to any parties because of the covid crisis okay so interesting story uh regarding this costume okay so oh before that uh okay so uh the, the Zoom party is going to start at like around 6 o'clock, so that's 3 a.m. my time. So I slept around 10 p.m. I set my alarm to 2.30 a.m. Uh, so I get like four hours sleep. Okay, interesting enough, I woke up around 1 a.m. And then I couldn't get back to sleep, so I decided to like, um, you know, fix myself up and get ready. Yeah, then later go downstairs, bring the laptop down and set up over there. But before that, I wanted to get dressed first, so I pulled this out of my closet and decided to try it out. Okay, so surprisingly, it still fits. Okay, but then something weird happened. Okay, when I took it off, I, I, I didn't zip it up yet. I just wore it to see how it would feel. Okay, so when I took it off, okay, I was wearing a white t-shirt. And then when I took it, I was really surprised because it was all, my white t-shirt turned into like black. Okay, it's like... <laughs> it turned black and I noticed on the floor on the carpet that there's all this like black powdery substance on the floor and it's all and that was the the, the stuff on my white t-shirt and like it shocked me okay it turns out that the shoulder pads that are supposed to be here and here which usually squares up the shoulder when I wear it the foam shoulder pads had deteriorated yeah over time and the foam is no longer there it's only like just the cloth that held the the foam and now it's like turned into this like almost like sawdust or powdery substance almost like ash <laughs> it's almost like kind of surprised for a minute there i thought it was like like toxic or something like that <laughs> but no yeah so i had to like discard the white t-shirt i was wearing and get a new one 
and clean up the carpet because it, it almost like it felt like an ash fall, guys. Like the way that uh, that foam deteriorated of the shoulder pads. So yeah, so what, what, the cloth that was left in it, I had to cut it out. Yeah, because it's useless basically. Okay, yeah. So I cut both of them off, and <laughs> it was actually a struggle to to get the zipper. Yeah, the zipper in the back right here. Yeah, to get it uh, closed, but I was able to do it, and uh, surprise, as I said, it surprisingly still fit. It still fit me. Okay, so yeah, so uh, it's a very you know <laughs> very unique unicorn, and uh, I thought of it to just wear it at the still party. <laughs> okay, let's get back here. Okay, so yeah, so I think what happens like uh, almost two thirty. Yeah. I had to clean up the carpet and all the black ash stuff <laughs> right there. So yeah, so that's what I wore. Okay, so finally went down, get set up and wait and try to get the link to go into the uh, the meeting room. The Zoom meeting room. Okay, they actually sent me a link through my email and it actually connected, the link connected to a Facebook group, which is the Pranks Not Dead. And I had to request to become a member. Okay, so it took a while, but uh, for a minute there, I thought it was going to be late because it's like a, it was almost like uh, five minutes to three, which is which is 6 p.m. on the other side. So I thought I might become late and I had to email them to say, oh, I'm just waiting for your, uh, uh, for the member request. And they did immediately. Okay. So yeah, so got on the Zoom, the Zoom meeting, and we just waited. Okay, so there's a lot of, a lot of M and Loves there. I think uh, by my count, like 42. I'm not sure if there's more, but that's how I uh, remember the number. At least 42. I think Alice mentioned it later, something like that. So yeah, so while we were waiting uh, for the party to start, I think they mentioned, uh, they actually sent us uh, uh, a link to some guidelines yeah so uh, the moderator is gonna be talking to us later at uh, 7 15 p.m. which is 4 15 my time and set us guidelines about the rules of uh, what uh, how should we behave <laughs> yeah during this zoom party yeah okay so while we were waiting for that yeah uh, all of us Evan loves were kind of like chatting that's yeah, so also a very nice chat uh, to talk to these, uh, to the other MN loves. So yeah, so most of the talk is uh, regarding River, yeah, and the third general election, uh, June, and, June and Zapora. We were, that was an interesting conversation we had in the chat, in the chat room, because we were talking which members, because the Senbatsu for the June and Zapora, they lost three members, uh, Eka, Daryl, and uh, Isa. Yeah, so we were discussing which members should go in. I suggested the twins, of course, you know, they deserve to be in there. And then the third member, we were kind of discussing which one. Uh, so it, it all boiled down to the the four King says that came in. Carla, Sam, Niall, or Trish. Okay. I even had a, made a fun suggestion. Maybe we should, all four of them should uh, just play Junkin, do a Junkin tournament to see which which of the which of these four members would, uh, be, would fill in the third spot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what else we talk about? I think we talked about mostly of the movie too a little bit. Okay. So yeah, so it's uh it was uh the wait was quite a while. And then uh, later on, yeah, so the uh the moderator, uh Jose Vitug, yeah, if I remember the name correctly, as they will talk with us, went through the guidelines and uh and then the Facebook page, the group page of Pranked Up that they started playing the, the trailer and it like it was on the loop over and over again. Yeah, you kept hearing the same line since it was on the loop. Yeah, so we're listening to the guidelines, listening to that. And uh, yeah, so uh, they also mentioned that the actual time that they're going to start is 7.35 p.m. their time and 4.35 a.m. on my time. Yeah, when, when the Zoom party will start at least. Okay, so while we're waiting, we're listening to the trailer. Yeah, like the loop going on, like, like the words, 
that puts her way way below us <laughs> Colleen's lying in the trailer it's almost like that's like uh, almost like brainwashed uh, it's almost like a, a line that you try to brainwash people you guys kept repeating that that line kept repeating over and over and uh, that line almost kind of made me scared scared of Colleen <laughs> Since it kept repeating over and over again, yeah, kind of got, got cute clean, became scary to me, yeah, because of her character right there, yeah. So, okay, so 7.35, Philippine time, arrived, yeah, and then it didn't start yet, okay, we're still listening to the trailer. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing since, I'm assuming this is the first time they did this, so the premiere, Okay, I don't know if they did this for Chain or 2020 Vision. Because, not that I recall. Because I never saw a post like that regarding exclusive premiere. I could be wrong. Yeah, let me know if I'm, I'm wrong. Yeah, because it's the first time I've seen, uh, you know, regarding Pranks on Dead, they did an exclusive premiere. And, you know, I mean, maybe if they did that for Chain, I saw it. Maybe I would have jumped at the chance. Mm. Yeah, but so yeah, so I'm assuming that since this is the first time they're doing a sort of premiere Zoom party and all that, that uh, naturally technical difficulties will occur. So that's why it took so long. So um, I think by the time it went way past that time, I think like almost 8 p.m. Philippine time, it was 5 p.m. my time. And then I believe that's when, um, maybe it's after that. Yeah. Uh, when the Zoom party actually started, so we got to see the cast, Alice, Andy, Jan, Colleen, and Deanne, and yeah, so they started talking, telling stories about how, how they shot the movie, Frank's Not Dead, and how they uh, worked on their characters, and all that, yeah. <laughs> so, so we were all, we all had our, uh, the mother advised us that uh, we could turn on our video, but keep stay muted okay so you know so we just listen to them because they're the ones talking we don't have to interact with them but they like to see our faces to how we react at least to them or when the when the movie starts okay so yeah so they're like uh yeah talking more about you know what they did and all that yada 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 okay and then they start uh, Colleen starts asking the questions, I guess, what they gathered from uh, the questions that we filled in the form. I believe they, uh, she read five questions. <laughs> this is the funny part. Colleen seems to be having a hard time reading the questions. Okay. So I'm not sure if that's her baby persona. <laughs> because for some reason, she's having a hard time reading them. Oh, yeah. So naturally, once uh, that question is read, each member has to answer it. Okay. So yeah. So I believe it was a five total questions that were asked there. And none of them were, uh, not, not one of the questions was mine. Okay. So yeah. So I guess uh, they chose what the interesting questions are. I guess my questions are interesting enough. Okay. So yeah. So later we get on to the, the, the premiere of Frank's Not Dead. Okay. As I said earlier, yeah, this... Uh, I will not be releasing this vlog until Pranks Not Dead is publicly released on YouTube or on the ML48 Facebook page. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna be spoilers here, but then uh, since I'm, I'm not gonna be releasing this uh, anytime until they release it, yeah, so I guess I'm free to talk about it here. And uh, once you watch <laughs> the, mo the movie yourselves, you can go and watch this video. Yeah, of my review of it, in a way. Okay, yeah. I really want to watch it again. Yeah, okay. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, movie Prank Last Dead talk about these uh, trio of girls, known as the cuties, yeah, at Eminem University. Why didn't you just say Manila University? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, um, uh, Glenn, Alice's character, she's a, she's a reporter. And she's talking to Andy uh, regarding the cuties because, uh, like, Andy's worried that, uh, well, kind of worried, but 
they're, since they're talking about cuties, they're like, you know, if you like mess with them, they're going to mess you up, uh, basically. So, yeah. So, uh, there's a moment where during their Zoom online class, uh, the teacher, the professor, asked Colleen a question. But Colleen was playing with her phone, but her not paying attention. And the uh, teacher kind of embarrassed her and uh, the professor asks, should someone help? Miss Vito, again, this is funny because Vito is the name of the moderator we had. And her last name, her Colleen, Colleen's character's name, Rachel Vito. So we kind of like, even in the chat room, we kind of connected that uh, with the moderator and Colleen. And what are they, uh, brother and sister or something <laughs> like that? Yeah. So yeah, so teacher asked Andy, I think the name was like Kaide. Yeah. To help with the question. I forgot what the question was, but it had something to do with constitutional law or something like that. The Constitution, yeah. So Andy answered for for Colleen, yeah. So yeah, and uh, uh, I'll call this. It, it, it's almost like the teacher embarrassed Colleen in front of everybody there, yeah. But uh, Colleen, rather than being angry with the teacher, she seems to be angry at Andy. Yeah, okay. So later when uh, the cuties are gathering for their... Uh, the live stream, all three of them. Okay, and uh, Colleen can't like unleash her anger with Andy. And that's where the line is. Uh, like, it's what her below us, way, way below us. Okay, like that. So, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, so they're gonna plan on revenging or at least embarrassing Andy uh, for what she supposedly did. Because all she did was answer a question, so I don't know what, what Colleen's problem was. There, okay. So maybe we should go on to the theme of the characters. I forgot to go through that. Okay, so Jan's character is Cassie. The ends is Becky. Colleen's adventure is Rachel. Alice, I mentioned this, uh, Glenn. And Andy's theme is Pam. Okay. I'm not sure if I should refer to the characters. But anyway, yeah, let's just move forward. So, um, uh, Later, Jen is shown on a live stream, and then she started. She opened this uh, video link, which turned out to be the chain cursed video, and uh, and uh, I got this. Then they showed like Jamie, you know, the scary Jamie from the trailer, and she just jumped, scared, you know, like that. Like she screamed, and since she was live stream, everyone like caught her screaming like a girl. <laughs> Like that, and it's almost like an embarrassment for her because everyone started to share that screenshot or that short video of her like jumping around screaming to the to this uh, to this fictional cursed video, which was Chain. Well, honestly speaking, the trailer was more scary than the actual actual Chain series. Sorry, honest opinion, guys. Okay, so yeah, so basically, it's almost like she got pranked since that link was sent to her. Yeah. So whoever pranked her, that's the mystery. So that's kind of like the mystery of the whole movie. Who was pranking the cuties? Then the other prank is of Diane or Becky. Someone sent her flowers and had like, she got allergic. Yeah, she had like these rashes on her body. And to me, I feel kind of like sorry for her because I have a skin condition as well. So yeah. <laughs> But Alice noticed a lot of Evan loves, I mean, including me. I was laughing because they included the meme there, which is you've seen that meme where the guy was like looking, looking like this at another girl while he's with their girlfriend. Yeah, I was thinking that there, and we we're all laughing, and Alice kind of noticed that. Yeah, because it's a very recognizable meme that we see on Facebook a lot. Yeah. And yeah, so. Uh, uh, so Colleen or Rachel started planning to for her revenge on Pam or Andy, you know, by inviting her to to be part of the cuties. Okay, yeah. So uh, it's almost like they're going to do a live stream where they're going to induct her as one of the cuties and they're going to give her a crown, a crown supposedly. Uh, so they're going to send her a box with the crown inside. So when she opens the box, it's not going to be a crown. It's going to be a frog. Yeah, a big frog. Okay, so. They could see her like jump, scream at when she opens the box. The frog is there. Okay. So yeah, so 
the plan is in motion. Uh, Andy gets the box where her crown is supposed to be. What, you know, the frog is supposed to be in there. Okay, but when she opened the box, it is an actual crown that was in there. Yeah. So, yeah. So it was not a frog. Okay, for some reason, the revenge fight did not go through, which like frustrated Colleen. And you can see Colleen show her frustration and see like what was going on. What happened to the frog like that and yeah so in a way she kind of exposed the what her true character is uh in that live stream yeah so <laughs> that's evan loves i think the big question is what happened to the frog <laughs> we're doing it in the chat when we're watching the movie so, what happened to the frog you know, we were concerned about the frog <laughs> okay so yeah so Colleen's Frank is ruined and her reputation in a way is ruined. And I think the cuties broke up. At least that's how I remember it. Okay. Then uh in the interview, because this almost like uh the movie's like in, in, in interview segments in which Alice or Glenn was interviewing all the characters. Well, I think she mostly interviewed Jen and then Pam. Yeah, I think only those two people. I don't remember her interviewing Colleen or the end yeah in that in this section of the movie i could be wrong like i said only watch it once that's why i wanted to watch it again to make sure i got all that information all the information right okay so who who were the question is who's doing the pranks okay so for some reason colleen was not pranked okay so is everyone thinking that colleen did this but then why would she sabotage her own plan okay so who pranked jan with the chain video who pranked uh dn uh with the flowers or the itchy powder which in turn got got uh she broke up with her boyfriend or broke her boyfriend broke up with her yeah i guess i forgot to miss that part yeah and uh, who replaced the frog with the crown okay okay so it turns on the end i guess this is a twist because i didn't expect it as well that Jan was the one who did the pranks. Yeah, she pranked herself, you know, to avoid suspicion. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. So, I guess it's in her way, you know, to, you know, that uh, she's not really a mean girl. Yeah, so it's almost like this whole movie is like also based on the mean girl movie. Yeah, so uh, that's her way because she didn't want to uh, have anything to do to hurt Pam. As Colleen wanted to, you know, so in this way she kind of like uh, cleaned herself in a way. Yeah, and uh, I think there's, there's a little part there where Colleen or Rachel uh, shared a video and it's, she's being remorseful and what her, how her behavior is and all that. <laughs> I'm not sure how sincere it is, but anyway, that's uh, how it went. Yeah, so. Uh, so, all well that ends well, I guess, in that movie. Yeah, I'm sorry if, if I'm just going to jumble through the synopsis of this movie because, like I said, I only watched it once. And uh, I, I might miss some certain details of it. Yeah, so, yeah, so, spoiler. Okay, well, but then again, yeah, you won't be seeing this until that uh, movie actually uh, gets released. Okay, yeah, so that's how, that's how the movie went. Okay, so, yeah, so we were also told that, you know, that uh, after the premiere, uh, we'll don't none of us should be logging out since we're going to get the two minute uh, meetup with the chosen castmate. Okay, so so uh, so from forty two or maybe it's more than forty two, I think twenty twenty nine of us were left, and I guess those were the VIPs. Yeah, and it's it's cool that kind of like Alice kind of like read out all the names who are left and. Uh, she read my name first, yeah, you know, like that. And it's kind of odd that uh, my name was up first in that line, yeah. So it was kind of surprising. So I don't know if uh, that's the way it is, or if maybe on another person's screen he's the first one in line. Okay, I don't know. Okay, not sure why. Okay, so I thought to myself, you know, okay, so uh, this might be a long wait since you know Jan's very popular ml48 number uh i might be i could be waiting for 
an hour or 30 minutes just to be able to to talk with her and surprise surprise <laughs> I was first up yeah okay <laughs> so yeah okay that was really surprising okay so I got in a meeting I uh, uh, I got in to the meeting room with Jen uh, Carl who's his name is Carl I remember that uh, he's the moderator here and says uh, okay if I'm ready uh, timer's gonna start it's gonna be two minutes okay not 40 seconds <laughs> two minutes okay so there you go and there's Jen okay I said hi Jen okay she hi back and uh, uh, okay no, no okay now I'm forgetting the conversation <laughs> yeah but Jen's so cute yeah uh, like all this oh I kind of mentioned that yeah so it's like I mentioned that it was 6 30 a.m. Here in California and uh, yeah I was kind of surprised and she kind of asked me that uh, don't I have to go to work uh, I actually said that uh, well currently I'm training for work and I only go there once a week and as a matter of fact tomorrow is my training day yeah so uh, so I mentioned that and then I kind of like put it on my uniform <laughs> I start Trek uniform and she, she actually noticed that uh, during the Zoom party, yeah. So I kind of mentioned that's like 20 years old and still, it still fits nicely. Uh, oh yeah, really surprising like that. And then yeah, then she moved the topic into uh, what I wanted to actually ask her. Okay. Oh, so I asked her. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, before that, yeah. She was kind of nervous. Yeah, she was kind of nervous uh, uh, with a meeting with me since she had to speak English. Then I said, Oh, I'll say good Tagalog lang tayo. <laughs> Oh, yes. she was so relieved and you know I mentioned that sometimes I use Tagalog words in my in my vlogs yeah in my YouTube vlogs and my reaction videos sometimes it slips it slips in there you know so yeah so I decided to speak Tagalog with her it doesn't make it easy on, on her yeah so yeah so then she went and asked me what the topic of my question was for the meet okay so uh, I told her that uh, what's it like playing a mean girl or have you been a mean girl yourself okay so her answer surprised me okay no she didn't call me cute <laughs> okay. okay she answered uh, yes that she was a mean girl back then that kind of really surprised me like wow I had like a really like a shock face because I didn't expect that answer from her you know you think she'd be uh, you'd assume that she's like the good girl because she uh, she, uh, her aura, yeah, her aura, uh, seems to show that around her, like, she's this good girl in high school, or in all her grades, <laughs> all her grades in school, you know, like that, but she said that she, she said that she was a mean girl, and I guess she channeled that experience into her character of, uh, of, uh, Cassie, in a way, so I guess that was easy for her. But, you know, but she mentioned that, you know, she was not that mean, mean girl. Like, she was, like, maybe a slight, uh, slightly kind of mean girl. Because I guess she was, you know, uh, because, you know, studying, you know, that she has to be serious in her studies. Yeah, so I guess that uh, mean girl persona is there within her. But she said she wasn't really that much of a mean girl, but just slightly. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. But, yeah, so... I'm glad that you know she now just slight and you know it's that uh, uh, I'm happy that you know that uh, she turned out to be this uh, nice sweet person that we all love and adore okay <laughs> being the an idol and an ML48 member at that okay so uh, then I moved into a really, really quick question because uh, if you remember uh, game night on Kumu uh, Theia if you've watched that uh, Thea's game night, she talked about how she was a mean girl to Jan <laughs> during the ML48 audition. Yeah, so uh, Thea, I think she can't remember clearly uh, how all of it uh, was, but she remembered this part. Like, uh, <clears throat> Jan saw her wear, wear this t-shirt. T-shirt, I think it said like, uh, I think Jan assumed that it was like, shirt from UE 
University of the East, I guess. Okay, and uh, Jan, Jan kind of like asked her, oh, are you from UE? Uh, or do you study at UE or something like that? Okay, and then Thea so just said no and just walked away. <laughs> That's how Thea remembers it. Yeah, so I kind of mentioned that to Jen that, you know, say I mean girl to you and she talked about that on Kumo. Oh yeah, and yeah, so she kind of laughed a bit and uh, yeah, that was during the, the audition they said and it's because I thought she was from UE. Okay, then before she could actually go on to the, to the whole story, the moderator like, oh, time's up, two minutes is up, oh, okay, two minutes is fast. Yeah, like that and... Uh, yeah, and oh, Jan's kind of like disappointed. Ah, we listen to one. Like that, and yeah. So, yeah, so I told her, oh, no, it's okay, it's okay, yeah, it's okay. So that's, uh, bye, you know, nice nice to see you again. So he did her advice, and yeah, so that's, uh, <clears throat> uh, that ends that. That ends my, my meet with Jen at the Frank's Not Dead uh, Zoom party. Yeah, so, so yeah, I mean, even though it's fast, too much fast, I can't, can't believe, can't believe it's so fast. But then, uh, I was very satisfied with it. Yeah, since it kind of, it kind of, sort of, made up for my lackluster uh, effort during the VHSE with Jam. Yeah, that I deeply regretted. I wish, you know. And, you know, I get, finally got the opportunity to make up for it. I mean, I got two minutes for her. We had a good talk like that so i'm very grateful for it i'm very grateful for this event yeah basically my second event my second attending event an ml48 event like that so yeah so uh thank you very much jen yeah uh for that and uh maybe someday uh we'll get a longer a longer talk <laughs> five minutes ten minutes hopefully yeah let's look that up in the future so yeah, so so Jan coming a uh, second time to talk to an ML48 member. Yeah, so that that's really special. Yeah, so I'm very thankful for this event, very thankful for HHE, ML48 for doing this. So I get the opportunity to make up <laughs> make up for for my regret. Okay, you know, come to think of it. Two minutes with Jan. You know, the VHSE, the longest person I was able to handshake with, virtual handshake with, was Shira. And that was one minute. Okay. And here, I got to do, to talk to Jan for two minutes. Does that make Jan my, my top Oshi now? Dun dun dun! <laughs> Okay, well, that is the question, isn't it? Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, hopefully, uh, Pranks Not Dead will be shown, will be released on YouTube and, or on the ML48 uh, group page sooner than later. Yeah, so I could release this uh, vlog to you guys and get to listen to my experience at the uh, Pranks Not Dead Zoom party. <laughs> okay. So I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the movie, yeah, and later on come here, see my vlog, and hope you enjoy yourselves uh, on this, uh, on my story as well, <laughs> or experience, yeah. So until that time, but let's say that time is now, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and like, comment, share, and subscribe to Lock Robster. Have any questions for me please leave in the comments and uh i'm still going to be continuing my series of uh reaction videos of my ml48 oshis and do please if you want your oshi to be featured in a video reaction made by moi yeah i'd be happy to do so because who knows your oshi might become my oshi okay and with that god bless show less bye now